it's important for the High Desert District to uh, move forward with gathering some of these horses off the Adobe Town Salt Wells areas. Um, the numbers are, are extremely high. Um, we're, we're somewhat out of balance with, with the uh, forage that's available for all the all the multiple you know uses that are out there um, there's a there's a conflict in this area between uh, wild horses and and wildlife and uh, we only have so much habitat available and if we if we allow too many horses to be out there then um, we aren't going to have um, the habitat available for the elk and the antelope and the deer and the other species that rely on that on that area we have uh, basically 16 herd management areas in this state and one of the one of the things that we have kind of overshadowing us in this state is is a consent decree which we've gone into an agreement with the state of Wyoming which tells us that uh, when we get to a certain point of horses on the rangelands then we have to we have to go forward and gather those horses. Those numbers that we uh, reach are based upon again our appropriate management level. We have Again, 16 herd management areas in this state, and I think our, our appropriate management level across the state is somewhere around 3,700 horses, and so that's what we shoot at to try and maintain. The Rock Springs Grazing Association exists on the land grant or the checkerboard, and so we are in a unique management position with the BLM because of that. On the checkerboard, every Odd numbered section is private and every even numbered section belongs to the government, the Bureau of Land Management. And so we are in a 52-48% position on all this ground and so we work hand in hand with the BLM on everything that we do um, because of the checkerboard uh, pattern that we work within. The Adobe Town Salt Wells uh, HMAs are, are basically a, uh, managed in a joint fashion because they're so intertwined and there is no natural boundaries between the two. Uh, we manage those together uh, within the High Desert District in, in Wyoming. Um, the area is uh, high desert. Uh, it's very it's very dry. Um, it's very um, expansive. It covers a lot of territory from uh, again from south and east of of uh, Rock Springs to uh, south and west of Rollins all the way to the Colorado state line. Um, it's, it's just a big chunk of country with a lot of horses throughout that area. The Grazing Association has always been a multiple use organization in terms of how it views management and we try very hard to do exactly that. We believe that the livestock resource is important. We believe that the wildlife resource is important. We also have a great deal of oil and gas activity, trona mines, coal mines, power plants. A number of activities exist on the Rock Springs Grazing Association. And that said, if we have one area that gets out of control, it affects all of the others.